Hey everyone! So in this video, I'm going to point out the different bony landmarks on the pectoral girdle, um, which is just the combination of your clavicle and your scapula. So starting out with a posterior view of the scapula, um, the scapula has three borders, the superior border, medial border, and lateral border. The scapula also has three angles, the lateral angle, superior angle, and inferior angle. Continuing to look at the posterior side, um, you see there's a ridge of bone on the scapula, which is called the spine of the scapula. And the spine of the scapula extends up and ends in the acromion process. Remember, this is the acromial region. Then above the spine, we have the supraspinous fossa, which is just referring to the whole bowl kind of shape in the space above the spine. Then below the spine, we have the infraspinous fossa, which is just the entire um, part of the scapula under the spine, um, except for obviously the borders. Also, um, there's a little cutout shape next to the superior border which is the suprascapular notch. All right, so looking at the posterior view next to the anterior view, um, we can see the acromion process really well from both angles. And on the anterior view, you can see below the acromion process is the coracoid process. Don't call it the coronoid process. Um, the coronoid process is in your jaw, and you have another coronoid process um, in your arm. So it's the coracoid process. Below the coracoid process is the glenoid cavity. Um, which is this whole area here and the glenoid cavity is the cavity um, where the head of the humerus sits. Now remember from the posterior side we have the supraspinous fossa and the infraspinous fossa but on the anterior side it is the sub scapular fossa, which is pretty much the whole anterior side. Moving on to the clavicle, um, there's not very much to know. Attached to the sternum is the sternal end, and then the other end is the acromial end. It's the acromial end, of course, because it is articulating with the acromion process. So even if this was disarticulated, taken off of the skeleton, it's still easy to tell which end is the sternal end and which end is the acromial end because the sternal end is um, blunt and flat and the acromial end is a little more tapered off. All right, so that's it. That's the entire pectoral girdle. Very simple, very easy. Uh, thanks for watching. Good luck studying.